This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar providing an overview of effects in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to create a clean chroma key using either good or bad footage and a carefully placed mask. A chroma key selects a specific color in an image, often green, and makes it transparent. This is generally used to place an actor or other foreground object into a different background. This technique works best when the background color and lighting is as smooth as possible. The goal is to have a flat, even well-saturated background color displaying 45 to 50 percent grayscale values on the waveform monitor. Here I have two shots. This is Lisa, and look at this background. Look at that. That's at 45, 45% and absolutely flat from the left edge of the frame to the right edge of the frame. And look at how beautifully saturated that is and how we only have one shade of green. This is a really easy key to pull. Now look at this train wreck. Oh my goodness. I've got every possible shade of green, no consistent lighting. I've got ripples everywhere. <sighs> let's, <laughs> let's work with the easy one first. To apply a key, scroll down and go to the keying category, grab the key or effect and drop it on top of the clip. And that quickly, the key is created. Now, if you look, there's a little bit of edging around her, but the rest of the key is perfect because the background was so well lit. To clean up that edge, go to Matte Tools and erode just a bit off her hair. And now we've got a much better key. Lisa turns and looks at us. In fact, because it's a key, I can separate the foreground from the background. Let's scroll down some more. I'll click the transform menu here and just move Lisa to the side because she aligns better with the Yara River behind her. Cure looking over. Clearly a drama and whoever she's looking at is about to die. So that's an easy key with a reposition taking advantage of the transform controls. Let's take a look here. How do we fix that? Well it's the same process. Grab the keyer, drag it on, but I want to, I mean, that's just, that's just so awful. How do I tell the computer where the color green is? Because it's making some bad guesses. Click on sample color and click and drag near but not on your actor. And by dragging down, what I'm able to do is I'm able to tell the computer exactly what shades of green. I select sample color and notice I've drawn two samples. I didn't just create one and I put one near his face and one where the, the fall off was the worst. So now I've got a chroma key. The way we interpret this is that which is opaque is solid white. That which is transparent is solid black and with chroma keys we don't want any shades of gray because that's translucent. Now I'll go to the mask category, apply a draw mask, and click and draw a mask around Andrew. To separate him from the background. Then to finish the key, click over here on this icon right here. And now we've got Andrew keyed in and we'll again go to our controls and drag him over. And because I want to have him be a little bit bigger in the frame, I'll make him about 130%. Ta-da! And remember, when you're done, click the Done button, because if you don't click Done, menu options don't necessarily light up. Even a bad key combined with a mask allows me to fix a really terrible situation that production put me in. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this training, please visit my store at LarryJordan.com store and look for Webinar 300. 
By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. Membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks. <laughs>